Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PCGO video. Today, guys, we're going to be jumping back into the expanded format, but we are going to be looking at a expanded Mew 3 Mill deck today. So we're not going to be looking at an attacking Mew 2 deck. We're going to be looking at a Mew 2 Mew Mill deck. And the nice thing about playing this deck is what Mew 3 can copy. So usually when you play a Mill deck, right, you use your Hound Dooms, you use whatever else. And then you have to try and get Charizard GX into play through Rare Candy Charmander. But the cool thing about this build is we can actually use Perfection to copy both Melting Horn on Houndoom and also this allows us to use Charizard GX's Raging Out GX. This is one of the cool things about this deck. This is the list I've gone with. Now, I will say in the first game I get, I had a different build um, that played Lieutenant Surge's strategy and a second Alolan Muck. Um, but by the second and third game, I, I took out the took out those things and threw in i think it was a juniper and two funny fury belts but yeah this is the list that i've gone with here it's an experimental list you guys you know could always change it up if you want but yeah before we get the video of course shout out to our sponsor card and tcg guys as always if you're ever in any need of any pdcgo codes if you're trying to get hidden fate pack codes still or unified minds codes or maybe you're trying to get a broken bonds codes now that the den agx's value has skyrocketed you can get your PCGO pack codes over at Kirk Evan TCG. They do have all the other pdcgo code of goodness like pokemon gx codes they got those new three gx codes they got Tina Chomp, Pika Rom codes. Um, they also have ETB, sleeve codes, all that good stuff over there too. And if you end up getting anything from Car Carbon TCG, guys, at the checkout, make sure to use my discount code CODELDF for a 5% discount on your order. Uh, helps yourself out, supports the channel, and helps out Car Carbon. It's a win-win for everyone. So, yeah, shouts out to them. All right, here we go with the list. So this is a bit of a crazy list. There's actually so many things you can put in here. It's actually kind of hard to build this deck. Now, the one thing I've actually thrown in is actually going to be this Alolan Muck here. Um, the one cool thing about it is its ability. We'll talk about that in a minute. So yeah, the idea of the deck is using Mew 3. We're going to perfection a copy Houndoom EX's Melting Horn attack, discarding the top two cards of your opponent's deck. Um, and it's nice because when Mew 3 gets pretty damaged, we can actually then copy Shaman Sky Return to heal it. So that's one of the nice combos you can do here. But obviously the other big thing is we can copy Charizard without having to hassle our way through getting a Charizard into play through Rare Candy and stuff like that, which is one of the nice things about this deck. If we have a D Valley in play, we can just go two energies and then a perfection, copy Raging Out, and win the game. Now, I have some other cards in this deck to help us with the mill. I am playing a Muck in this deck. Um, not the Alola Muck that hurts Mewtwo, but this Alola Muck with Adventurous Appetite. The main reason for this card is we can use this ability when you play it from your hand to evolve on your Pokemon. During your turn, you may look at the top six cards of your opponent's deck, discard any number of items you find there. And in Expanded, there is a ton of items to discard. There's Versus Seeker, there's Ultra Ball, there's Snap Ball, there's the Chase Spec. There's obviously Trainer's Mail and stuff like that. And there's all those tools like Floatstone and Choice Band. So, Ventress Appetite is a really good ability for this deck. And it also mills them. You can possibly hit like three items and then with a Melting Horn, that's like a free five discards, which is really cool. So, this muck is really nice. And we got Devo Spray to back it up. Uh, I am also playing this Salamence in here with Scornful Storm. Um, one of the things people can do to counter mill is hoard their hand up and then like end you to a low hand size or end them to a low hand size and then their deck is back to being pretty big but with salamence we're going to try to deny that with scornful storm uh, the only way to get in play though is through lance and uh, i don't know maybe with uh, the recent japan bands this card could actually start seeing play because it is pretty evil if you think about it um it's like a mini red card uh i got set of widow in the deck we run to a sky filled deck we limit their damage output we got shaman in the deck Again, Mew 3 really likes Shaman to heal. That's one thing we could do. And then we have one copy of Tapu Lele to find our supporters. But yeah, that's it for the Pokemon. There's some other things you could probably put in here too, I guess. But this is what I've gone with and uh, seemed to work pretty well. Now right, we go to the items now. Uh, we got two Battle Compressors to be able to put, you know, really the Hound of the Charizard in this card. Pot. We don't really need to rely on this card too much. So that's why I'm only playing two. I am playing one Counter Catcher. Again, we're not trying to take prizes. We can Counter Catcher stuff up, trap them in the active for a couple turns to get some more Perfection Melting Horns off. Uh, two Devo Sprays for our Muck. We got a field blower for Garbotox, and I guess we could play two blowers. Uh, we got three treasures. You can find Grimer, Mewtwo, and Lele with it. I am playing Scoop Up Cyclone as my ace back, just a free healing card for Mew. Uh, max Potion can go in here too, if you want. You can maybe find room for a few Max Potions to heal. I got one copy of Super Rod to be able to shuffle stuff back in the deck, like Energy. Four Ultra Balls, four Via Seekers, pretty standard stuff. Three GB uh, Dimension Valleys for the stadium. Um, now we got a lot of supporters in the deck. Now, originally I did play Lieutenant Surge, but I found that Lieutenant Surges just weren't being used. I was getting no value out of them, so I just cut them from the deck. Um, and instead, I have thrown in stuff like Ace Rolla to heal. Um, I got two Cynthia's, one in, and one Juniper for my draw. So not a whole lot of draw cards, but the reasoning behind having only, you know, these cards. One, we don't want a Juniper a lot of the time. I actually found myself Junipering away some pretty important cards in testing. So I was like, no, we don't want to play too many Junipers, so I'm actually going to go down to one. And can be counterintuitive if your opponent has a lot of prizes left and you have to end them. Or they don't have a lot of prize left. You actually give them a smaller hand, which puts things back into their deck. 
so it's not a great card. Cynthia just seems like the best draw card here. Colrus, I guess, wouldn't be terrible either. Uh, but our bench might not be too full. Like, at most, we might have, like, a Grimer on our bench. Maybe Lele and Shaman, and maybe a Houndoom and a second Mewtwo, but it's, you know, we only have 13 Pokemon in the deck. Um, the other supporters, though, that'll help us out with our kind of strategy, we have stuff like Guzma, we can trap stuff in the active, we got Lance to get our Salamence into play. We got a Koga's Trap, really cool card. Koga can be kind of evil. We can play Koga, confuse, poison them. Mainly we're trying to confuse them so that they maybe can't attack and buys us a few turns of Melting Horn. Two Flare Grunts to remove their energy for Melting Horn. Two Handiwork to help us mill. One Team Skull Grunt to be able to get rid of energy from their hand. Uh, we got two Fighting Fairy Belts for Mune 2 to have give it 310 HP, which makes it even bulkier. One Float Stone for the Fruit Treat. Now, I am playing two weak energy. As you can see, I'm not playing Jirachi, but I'm going with the Tord Reckliff route, and I'm going to try a weak energy with Mew here, and this will eventually give it no weakness to Psychic. And this might be better than the Jirachi, because Jirachi has a target on his head. Once Jirachi gets down, Mew 3 is stuck. So with enhanced with uh, weak energy, we only have to worry about enhanced hammer. And I have seven fire energy to round up the list. So yeah, this is my Mew 3 expanded mill deck. Um, so yeah, I'm experimenting with some stuff using the Muck, using the Salamence Lance combo to maybe see if we can get some, you know, help there to win games with them. So yeah, let's go show the deck off here on PC Joe. Alright guys, we're gonna go into Expanded now, play some games with Mew 3 Mill, see if we can win any games here. First off, we're up against, it looks like potentially Dark Box. A matchup like this would be pretty hard. Dark Ride GX is the only thing that kind of scares me. And we don't win the coin flip. That's fine. We can do a turn on Melting Horn. Let's see, we start with here. Melting Horn Houndoom. Not the greatest hand, though. It looks like we might have to just navigate with Flare Grunt and Handiwork until we can maybe set up. Ah, uh, we'll see what happens here. Our hand's not looking great. We have Salamence. We can't even get the Salamence into play with Lance, even if that was a possibility. So we're going to be playing a Dark Box deck, and again, we can win a matchup like this. It's just going to come down to whether or not we draw well enough. And they get rid of a Dark Rain of Malamar. Hopefully they don't really expect me to be playing a Houndoom Mill deck, and they just burn through a bunch of cards here. That would be really nice. They do get a Zorua, though. That's an interesting card to see in a Dark Box deck. There's a Nest Ball. Gonna get themselves a Darkrai GX. Okay. Oh, and they're gonna end me. Beautiful. They're gonna give me a nice new hand of six. Hopefully it's something we can work with here. I'm fine with attacking with Houndoom for now. Actually making my opponent take seven prizes. Could be pretty good. We do find a Grimer. We have an Ultra Ball. And of course he's playing Laser. <laughs> of course you get heads. Are you kidding me? That is a joke. Please tell me I'm going to wake up. Wake up. Oh my. Laser, why is why was that card ever invented? For the love of... The love of this game. Laser needs to just be removed. Because it is super stupid. So... <laughs> probably going to just... Do we have Lele? No. Of course Lele's prized. I mean, we'll get rid of a Cynthia. The Odd Town Doom gets knocked out next turn, though. Are pretty low. He would need, like, a Weavile Choice Band, like a Switch or something. He would need a lot to get a knockout. So I can maybe settle with a Team Rocket's handiwork for now. I could, obviously, Ultra Ball for Shaman. But I don't want to have Shaman in play because it's such an easy prize for my opponent. Trying to deny my opponent prizes I think is really good here. But I think we have to get the Shaman. As much as I don't want to, it's the most logical thing. We could just get the Mew 3 now though. I could have held the, uh, the Guzma and just got Mew. Maybe I should have done that. We can Handiwork though. Get one heads. We get rid of, ooh, Weavile, not bad. That's a big discard, actually. Uh, we'll shame in. There's Mew. There's an Energy. We do have Via Seeger, so we can Guzma next turn, possibly bringing out, well, it's nothing to bring out because it's Darkrai, but we should probably Guzma next turn. I could also just hold the Energy, though. 
which I think I'm gonna do because we might just keep you doing melting horn for a bit or just not wake up laser why why was that card ever printed man are you kidding me why was that card ever printed how lucky do you have to be to get heads and then double tails on the sleep flip seriously there's a ninja boy don't really know what they're gonna get here I mean I guess it's like they go with they got nothing okay Sure. Do they have anything else? Is they get Ascension. I'm guessing they're gonna get Zoark GX here. Yep. Hopefully we can wake up, but we can actually Team Flare Grunt them. Oh my gosh, dude. I hate... I absolutely hate Hypnotoxic Laser. That card is so... We're gonna have to Guzma. Not what I wanted to do, but... Of course this game forced my hand. I think we're just bringing the sneeze. It really doesn't matter. If not toxic laser, such a piece of crap. Um, yeah, let's melting horn. I really wanted to wake up there because I could. I would have just settled for a uh, team flare gun. Would have been nice, you know. My opponent wouldn't have no energy in play. I guess they can still do dark eye GX. Still though, a little annoying that Houndoom had to stay asleep for two turns. We'll see if my opponent's able to attack me here. Energy retrieval, <laughs> random. Again, we did discard their Weavile. You know, without Weavile, they can't really do much. We can also hit them with the Koga's Trap. They're gonna Ultra Ball. Are they gonna get the Weavile? No, they're gonna get Tapu Lele. They haven't played their Supporter yet. I don't think so. Now they don't have room for Dark Ride GX though, which is somewhat decent because now we don't have to worry about a Dark Ride Dead End. I guess. In before this guy actually gets everything he needs to like hit my Mewtwo really hard. It's a shame we're drawing kind of poor. I might Ultra Ball for Muck next turn. I guess we should have went for Muck a while back. Let's see. Does he find the Weavile? He didn't get it off Cherish Ball. That's pretty good. Ooh, he's going to thin his deck out even more. Thank you, good sir. Let's see what we draw here. Nice. Okay, we're gonna play this just to burn it. We're gonna via Seeker for Cynthia. Or I can get Team Skullgrunt though, because we know he has two energies in his hand, but I don't really think the name of the game is running him out of energy at this point, in all honesty. So we're not gonna bother. We're gonna Cynthia. I would have maybe Ultra Balled there, but I don't know. Like, I do wanna get the Koga in the discard pile, but it's probably not worth it. All right, let's get rid of D-Valley and Treasure, I guess, for Muck. We do wanna drop the Alolan Muck on them, and try to mill as many cards as we can here with Muck's ability. Let's see what we can hit. Three things. Floatstone, Rescue Stretcher being another huge one. That's going to get rid of my opponent's Weavile Axis. And we're going to Melting Horn them. Beautiful. We get rid of a Lele and an Ace Rolla. And we actually might win in a couple of turns here. If my opponent actually plays any more cards, we might deck him out with Charizard. It is in the discard pile, right? Yeah, my boy's there. I mean, he's looking pretty good. My opponent's got 14 cards left. We've... They haven't taken a single prize. We'll see what they do here. Really, all we need to do is maybe find Devo Spray for Muck. But we can also... If Mewtwo gets heavily damage. We can always Sky Return into Houndoom. Sacrifice Houndoom or something. We can get that Black Market. Not going to be needed for my opponent, though because we aren't taking any prizes this game, most likely. They can go Zoark here, actually, and stand in. Or they could just manually retreat, obviously. And there's a trade. Oh, no, for them, because now we might deck them out. If they play one more card that searches their deck, we might win here by decking them out. Come on. I want that deck out. And for some reason, they actually attach to the Greninja Zoark. Because we bumped a float, do they even have a retreat here? And I, clearly, they're not playing the greatest of decks also, by the way, you may notice. They're not playing the most competitive decks. Um, but still, I think it's still a pretty in interesting match. We're getting pretty close to winning. And for some reason, they didn't retreat into Zoark. That is a big new move on their end. And we should win this turn, actually, by just doing handiwork. As we got one head as we win. Let's see it. Come on. You two mil. Are you? Wow, that is so annoying. I have Melting Horn. Ooh, Dark Patch. Okay, now we should win next turn. 
There's no way I don't think Mew 3 can get knocked out here. Well, maybe Greninja Zoark. That would be so unlikely. That is pretty annoying, though, that we actually whiffed the, uh, with double tails on handiwork. The coin flips have not been in my favor this game, quite clearly, judging from the handiwork and the laser flips in the early game. But let's see if my opponent is able to do anything here. I mean, they're not really playing very well, in my opinion. They definitely should have been attacked with Zark by now. So I don't really know why they didn't just retreat. They're literally just letting me keep milling here. I don't know why they why they didn't just do this last turn, but whatever. We should win here. Next game. All right, well, my opponent definitely, I don't think, played this game that well. Um, no offense, but like... Mewtwo should have already been heavily damaged by now, but yeah, we're just gonna win here by just going a Raging Out GX. We're gonna mill them out of all their cards. Yeah, that Alolan Muck definitely came in handy. I didn't think the Muck was gonna be super great at first, but man, that, that Muck came in handy. It also, getting rid of that Rescue Stretcher, I think, was pretty relevant too, because that is obviously a card people can use to hurt me from being able to mill them. So that was a pretty good game. Not bad. Do we uh, see a notification here? Trade completed. Gotta quag that. All right, see you guys in the match. Alright guys, I've actually changed up a few cards from that first game. I have actually removed Lieutenant Surge, and I've actually taken out one of the Mucks, and I have actually thrown in a Juniper. I've thrown in two Funny Fairy Bells alongside that, um, just to try to even it out. I, Lieutenant Surge wasn't really being used, so I was like, yeah, we don't really need Lieutenant Surge. And then also, having the Juniper in the deck allows me to draw extra cards, you know what I mean? So, that seems like a good idea. Um, just having the extra draw support if we need it, and then also having tools from you. So yeah, I'm not a fan of changing decks midway through, but like that first game was good. We won it, but we're gonna try to switch things around with our list a little bit here. And we'll see what we play against next. Uh, we're up against Kirkido 1009, playing a Psychic Metal deck. So this might be a Malamar deck, which could be scary. This means we have to find our weak guard energies to uh, make it so that Mew isn't going to get knocked out by these Psychic Pokemon. Or we can use Houndoom, but we'll see. And we are going to Mulligan. I do think Countercatcher is going to be pretty good here. Being able to Countercatcher up uh, Malamars could be pretty strong, potentially. Uh, just any extra turns we get to maybe get a few Melting Horns in is really good. And let's see. We are going to start with a Mew, and we got a weak Energy in our opening hand. Not too shabby at all. Only thing to make this hand better is we draw a Houndoom or a Charizard here to treasure away. I guess we should maybe play like Glading in this deck in case we do prize the Charizard 2. I guess there's that option. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff you can put in this deck. There really is. You can even run like Giant Hearth or like Viridian to find your Fire Energies at the right moment. And I'm just going to start with a Bat and a Mew 2. So yeah, we're going to have to play the Weak Energy here. We're not going first, which is unfortunate. I would have preferred to go first. So we're going to have to put the weak guard energy onto our Mewtwo here. And we're going to have to try to see what happens. Hopefully they don't play Hammers. That would be nice. Looks like they're playing some kind of Bats deck. Looks like they're playing Mewtwo Bats, possibly. I don't know. But as long as we can mill them, that's all I care about. So we can treasure here for the Grimer, which I think I am going to do. Get that Grimer into play. A little muck might be useful. He's already shown that he has, you know, two items that, you know, there's more of. Like, there's probably more level balls. There's definitely more males. No one really plays just one trainer's male in their deck. So, we can definitely get some value out of this Alolan muck here. Trying to cripple their item setup and also milling them. Yep, see? They got more items already. I mean, they can do a decent amount of damage to me. I guess I gotta be a little careful about that. But we have a weak guard energy, and as long as they don't play Enhanced Hammer, which I highly doubt they do then uh, we should be okay, and Mewtwo GX should not get knocked out by my opponent. I just don't like going second here, though. Do I want to end them, though, too? Do they have a supporter? They don't, so I don't know if I want to end them. Ooh, we just straight up draw the Grimer. Don't mind if I do. Uh, we'll get rid of the Ace Rolla. This means we can get Lele for Cynthia. I mean, on the end them, they didn't do any much else, you know what I mean? It's like not really much of a point. They played three items. They didn't play a supporter, so I gotta assume their hand is not very good. Cynthia, what will it give us? 
There's the muck. We do have a D Valley, so we can attack the Zubat for 20. That's about it. <laughs> it's gonna pass. We didn't find a, like a Houndoom or anything, unfortunately, which is not ideal. It would have been nice to get maybe a Houndoom here to discard, but we don't. We didn't get a Battle Compressor either. We're gonna have to retry to find that. He could attack the Grimer here, possibly. No, he's gonna hit the active. Okay, that's fine. It's also where we're gonna need Shamaniax, too. Obviously, we don't want to play the D-Valley down in this matchup, though, because it helps my opponent side drive. Oh, he has a scoop up. And he actually hits heads. Wow. Well, let's see if he has anything else other than just bats. If he has any supporter, is probably what he wants to play here. Obviously. <laughs> right, he's bringing in that Zubat. See what he does. He's gonna keep in my active. That's fine by me. And does he have a supporter? He could have held on to a Juniper. No, he doesn't. That's good. That means we can go here with a Alolan Muck. And yeah, we're gonna get rid of three things. We know that he has a Wobbuffet, so nice. So we mill three cards. Cool beans. We can Cynthia. I do have to play two energies, which kind of walks into an X-Ball. But again, I doubt he's playing Enhanced Hammer. Cynthia, we're looking for Houndoom and maybe Devil Spray. And oh, we found both, not bad. We even got an Ultra Ball, which is pretty good. We can Ultra Ball away the Houndoom. What do I want to get rid of though? I don't really want to get rid of any other supporter in my hand. I might as well just play the Houndoom now. There's nothing in my hand I really want to see get discarded there, to be honest. But like, I, we might use the, both those cards. So we get rid of a Gengar and a Max Elixir. Not bad. And before, I gave him a Juniper. Because I milled those cards. But Mew3, hopefully, is going to take a while to get KO'd here. He is going to get a D-Valley, which is fine by me. That's obviously going to help me with my Charizard. He can hit me kind of hard, though, with X-Ball here. He actually could knock me out. I'm tempted to flare gun him actually if he doesn't have much. So we have 140 HP. Alright, we'll play down another Alolan Muck. Alright, here we go. Let's see what we discard. Via Seeker, there's a Shaman. And there's a male and a Versus Seeker gun. I think I'm gonna flare gun. It's kinda evident he doesn't have much right now. And then next turn we can Ultra Ball for Shaman. I could have uh, hit him with... No, actually, we can't do... Uh, we can't attack him with Houndoom here because we don't have a fire. We can hit him for 100. Again, we're not trying to damage him. We're trying to mill him. Two Ultra Balls are gone. So we're forcing him to have, like, a lot to knock me out here. Which I think he could get. It's possible, I guess. But hopefully not going to happen. There's Cynthia. But he is drawing six cards because of that, so that's good. Getting closer to the mill. So we're gonna have to probably maybe Sky Return here, maybe bring in the Muck possibly. I don't know. He might knock me out here, which is what I'm scared of. But we have 110 HP. It's a good thing we flare gun in him. We're gonna definitely have to Sky Return him here. There's an Elixir. As long as he doesn't randomly play Energy Switch and like goes out nowhere the side drive for 130, we should be okay to survive the turn. You live the turn, please and thank you. Survive the turn. Shaman, okay, well at least it's gonna give him five more cards. So he's actually getting very close to Charizard GX, which is the good thing. A town map. Okay, well what do you got in the prizes? Watch energy. Well no wonder he wasn't finding like DCs. He has two prized. Okay, so hopefully we don't get knocked out here. Again, he's getting like an energy switch or something crazy. I think we'll be okay to survive. Unless he has like a max elixir, scoops up the Mewtwo. That's another option. But as long as our Mew3 lives to turn, we're good. We are the superior Mewtwo here. Mewtwo EX may have been the biggest thing in the game for a while when it came out. But Mew3 right now is the biggest thing in the game right now for a while. Now that's out. So Mew3 is superior to Mewtwo GX. EX. Mewtwo EX. It's the Mewtwo Wars. All right, let's see. What is he going to do? Is he just going to X-Ball me for 60 to 70? 
going to verse a seeker. Okay, that's a little early to do that. I mean, he only has a Cynthia in there. Cynthia is going to draw him more cards from his deck, too. Honestly, looking at the situation we're in, it's actually probable we could pull off a Charizard in the next coming turns. It might be better to maybe scoop this guy up. I don't know. Let's see. We have 20 HP left. As long as Shaman is not prized. Good. All right, we are going to have to play the Shaman down, unfortunately. Not what I want to do, because it's such an easy target for the bat, but we can always Ace Roller scoop it up. Speaking of scoop up... Yeah, I think we'll go in with Houndoom here. I don't know, I kind of want to bring back my Muck, though, too. Just because of how close we are getting to the Charizard. But, uh... I think we'll heal. I think, honestly, at this point, Houndoom can win us the game. Might as well handiwork. Double heads? Uh huh. We get rid of another D-Valley. What else do I want to do? Probably just a Melting Horn. Don't think missing is like a Via Seeker to maybe scoop the Houndoom up, but uh, we'll see. Okay, we didn't get rid of any bats there. I was hoping we could maybe get rid of some Crobats with that Melting Horn. He has 13 cards left, so while Houndoom is doing his job, we're going to slowly build up for a Mew 3 Charizard play, which is most likely going to be a thing in the next coming turns here. I got to assume. The fact that my opponent hasn't taken a prize either is, like, really good for us. <laughs> it's not looking too good for my opponent right now, basically what I'm trying to say. There's a Crobat, so he had it in his hand. He could actually knock me out here with side drive. I should maybe consider that. Nah, I should have benched the Mew. Whatever. We can always do Sky Return and like go into Muck. Well, there's 10 cards. So all we gotta do is just melting. We just gotta go for Marac or not Maracas Duo. We just gotta go for Charizard here and we win. I don't think he sees it coming because we haven't gotten rid of Charizard yet. Can Houndoom live the turn? Let's find out. He doesn't have a curb on the thing. Okay, Houndoom does live. Okay, can we draw via Seeker for Ace Roller here? That would be amazing. Because it is in the discard. Yeah. No, we didn't. So we gotta... Uh, Houndoom's gonna get knocked out. I don't like that. Well, he doesn't have the bat in his hand. Well, Cynthia... Still get, we still didn't get a Battle Compressor with Charizard. But next turn, we can maybe Ultra Ball here. That can help us out. We're going to have the Melting Horn and accept that the Houndoom is not living. But then next turn, we got to accept the fact that we probably can win. Ooh, we hit a Stretcher. Okay, that means we should win now. Like, there's no way you can get stuff back in the deck to survive me. And he gets tilt. Nice. Because he could have maybe scooped up the bat line. Obviously, then knocked me out. But then also, we could have Cynthia in the back and then maybe gone above 10 cards. As long as he just stays below 10 cards here, we should hopefully win. I guess we don't have a Juniper, though. That's the only issue. Okay. He didn't knock me out bats, which is good. He can take two cards here. But yeah, we should win here, guys. It's looking likely. His weak guard energy is really, really helping, too. So all we need to do is... Oh, we can also maybe hit... No, not even double heads on. Team Handiwork would work. And then a Melting Horn. Alright, we just need to we pull off Charizard. And that should hopefully get us there. That should get us there. We just need to not whiff an energy. We have five in the deck. This is going to be pretty close. So we just need to not whiff energy here. And we should win. And the only out we have right now is Cynthia. We just need to find energy, guys. Here we go. Will we hit the energy to win? We do. Nice. It had to be a fire energy, right? Yeah. Okay. That's game. Raging out GX. Once again, for the win, double games now. Back to back where Raging Out has won us the game. And there's that Crobat that could have came in play. Beautiful. My opponent only took one knockout that entire game still. We had a, we got pretty lucky that I guess he didn't have much at the start, but Mill can do that sometimes. That muck is definitely showing its worth though, guys, honestly. I'm liking it. Uh, he only had the one stretcher. All right, nice, beautiful. See you guys in the match with the Mew3 Mill deck. It's working.
Okay, guys, we're going to do one last game here, probably with the Mew deck, and uh, see if we can win another game with Mill, or we lose. Let's see. All right, we're against Cats only. I'm assuming she's playing Catterday. No, I'm just kidding. She's probably playing... She's playing a Grass deck. Which means we can attack with Houndoom and Charizard, but... Well, actually, we can't use Charizard. And you can get my point. Uh, we do win the coin flip, though, which is pretty good. Let's see what we get here. Not much. Well, I guess, like, Muck is nice, but... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Bad hand. Bad, bad hand. But yeah, I do think it was good to take out those Lieutenant Surges. Like, even in that game there, my opponent took a while to get a prize. So, Surge was just two useless cards filling up space in my deck. And, alright, we do start with a Mew. Not bad. Not the greatest hand, but I'll take it. We can treasure for Grimer, maybe. Or Lele, actually, because we don't have a draw supporter. Alright, we'll see what they're playing. They got Grass. They could be playing Vileplume, which would be interesting if they are. Because, again, our whole goal is just mill, mill, melting horn, melting horn, melting horn, melting horn. Sky return to heal, melting horn, melting horn. Oh, raging out. Um, okay. I'm playing a Lurantis. <laughs> cool. Alright, we'll get rid of the Koga's trap, I think. And we'll get Lele here. We'll have to go... Just... Not Juniper, obviously. Uh, we'll just go for a... Cynthia, I think. We could, yeah. Cynthia's fine. We don't want to end them. Give them a new hand. It's not worth it. I'm going to play the D-Valley just so I can burn it. I don't really know what other like, stadiums they would play other than like Life Force. Alright, we did find a Grimer. There's Battle Compressor, so we can play that here and get rid of Charizard and a Houndoom. Which, we don't have many in the deck. That's about it then. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm just... My throat right now is kind of congested. And we're just going to pass. Not bad. Not the worst turn one. We haven't used the Salamence Lance yet. Which makes me think I should maybe just take that out altogether. But I don't know. I thought like the Salamence would be a good idea to have. I don't know. There's that Life Force coming down pretty early. Actually, if we got an Energy on this turn, we could have set up a uh, Knockout with Energy Drive on the Fomantis. Which I probably would have done, to be honest with you. It slows my opponent down quite a bit. There's an Ultra Ball. We know they only have Grass and Colorless in the deck, so I don't know if they're going to get a Shaman or something else. We'll see. Okay, they're going to get Shaman. So we can draw an energy here. We can maybe handiwork them. But yeah, they play the Shaman down. That is going to be a nice four cards they get to draw out of their decks. The more cards they draw, the better. So be my guest. Draw as many cards as you want. There's a Wimpod coming down, so they're playing a Grass Box deck. Ooh, Decidueye. That could be an interesting thing to see. They're going to Synthesis. Alrighty then, this is going to be an interesting turn for us. We got the Houndoom in the discard pile. Now what we need is to find energy. Ask you shall receive. Um, yeah, we can handiwork him here. Why not? Nice, we got rid of a Venusaur? Okay, I'll take it. And I think I'm just going to Melting Horn. We could play the Fighting Fury, but there's no point. We're not going to get knocked out next turn. What do we get rid of? A Wimpod and an Evo Soda. That could be good if my opponent doesn't find Lorantis here. I'd have to worry about a possible Lorantis KO on me. With that GX move... Oh, they play Hammers. Are you kidding me? Okay, thank you. Thank for you. They got Tails. Another one? Okay. Seriously, wh who plays Hammers in Lorantis? Like, bruh. Ooh, a Lysander. Looks like they're trapped my Mach. No, the Lele? Okay. That's kind of weird. It's actually pretty good, though, if they don't have the Lorantis, which they don't. Ooh, my boy Mewtwo actually worked. I like to see it. All right, what do we draw? Sort of Widow. Don't really need that. All right, well, Versus Seeker for Cynthia. We just need to get an energy here to retreat our boy. I'm not going to bench this out of what it's not needed. Alright, what do we get in here? We got Flow. Flow's probably better than the energy. because, But we should probably save it if in case he does bring in the muck or something. Speaking of which, I would have liked to have seen muck there. And we get rid of a rare candy and an energy. So the good thing is, is this Oranguru is going to be a really good counter catcher target. We have a Flare Gun, which we could play, I guess. 
Probably want to save this hand too, possibly. I don't want to play Juniper right now. Now it looks like they're gonna Sky Return me, which I'm fine with. The good thing about Sky Return is, yeah, they get Shaman back so they can draw more cards, which will help them, but inevitably this draws them more cards. That Elixir's also sitting in their deck out. We are getting even closer now to Charizard raging out, which is really good. I don't know, part of me wants to Juniper here, but because I do want to get the Muck, right? Because I want to start doing Muck right now. Muck would be good, but I think we can settle the Flare Gun. Or we just get the Muck off the top deck. All right, well, he's not really taking a prize anytime soon. I'm just going to get rid of the Counter Catcher and the Mew. Sorry, Counter Catcher. We're going to get that Muck online. All right, hopefully we can mill, at the very least, six cards here. Maybe that's not too freaking much. Only a Nest Ball? Like, bruh. Wow. That Melting Horn it is. Ooh, Enhanced Hammer. That's good. I mean, now our weak RNG won't get discarded. I'm not too worried about my opponent possibly crushing hammering me. We do have a Super Rod in the deck for a reason. So, we should be all Gucci. I'm not only hitting one item, though. Not ideal. Not the item we really wanted to see. It would have been nice to maybe get rid of an Ultra Ball... Possibly another Crushing Hammer. Rusty Stretcher being another big one. They're actually going to attach the DC to the Oranguru, which is kind of interesting. I'm surprised they didn't just put on Rowlet for Decidueye. Hollow Hunt is a problem, too. For me, anyways. And, oh, they got Nottish. I don't think they're playing Vileplume, though. Well, they're playing Item Lock Vileplume, maybe. But, no, they're most likely playing the Allergy Pollen one. The one that... Oh, no, wait, is that the Allergy Pollen one? I can't remember. Whatever the ability Vileplume was from last format. And, oh, he still doesn't get... The Lorantis, and for some reason, actually doesn't even retreat into the Galistapod. I, why did they? Okay, whatever. Ooh, a Devil's Spray. So we can hold on this hand for one more turn then. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't just retreat into Galistapod. Okay. One more turn of Millie, don't mind if I do. Ooh, we gave her a Cynthia. Okay. So, yeah, this is looking good. If they play any more cards that then their deck out here, it's actually possible to win the game in the next coming turn with uh, Raging Out. Yep. Yeah, I figured it was going to be the disgusting pollen one. There's too many pollen vial plumes. And oh, why? Oh, they just gave us the game. Thank you. They just sick board. I mean, they could stretcher or super rod here possibly to put the cards back, but we have a muck coming their way. I seriously don't know why they haven't gone with Glispod yet. We just win here if we find D Valley and an energy. Okay, well, I'll take it. Thank you for not attacking me with Glispod. Honestly, though, this Mew 3 mill deck is actually doing wonders right now. Um. Not bad. I mean, we might have been playing against the most competitive of decks on the planet, but winning games with this deck is still good to see anyways, regardless. Because this deck can struggle against a lot of things. Like, any deck that has anything in... Why did they retreat into Vileplume? They can't attack me. I'm very confused. Literally, all we gotta do here is just Juniper. And we should win. Alright, we can muck them. Don't really think they have much left. Okay, they do. They have a Lysander, too. We're gonna get rid of that, and all we gotta do now is just find ourselves a D Valley and a Energy, and we win the game. And we win. Nice. Well, my opponent definitely didn't really play the game that. I don't. Why were they not like? What, like I'm kind of confused. Wait, what? <gasps> oh. Oh no. This, that's why they went to Vile Plume. Oh my Oh shoot. That's kind of annoying. Okay, that's fine. We can wait another turn. So I cannot attack because this thing. I thought it was this thing can't be damaged by basics. Okay, that's fine. Next turn we'll just Guzman. Retreat. Raging out. Uh, rip. Rip. That is kind of annoying. Kind of jumped the gun there. That's fine, though. As long as we have a Guzma, we're good. We can just Guzma the Shaman. Yeah, interesting. My opponent could downer shock me. Not really going to do much because I'm going to Guzma anyways. As long as we don't get in or as long as they don't put any cards back in their deck, we should be okay here. Okay, that Vileplume play actually turned out to be a big brain play, but yeah, that is game. That is going to be game. Okay, that was pretty close. Well, not close, but that was pretty weird. 
I didn't really expect the Vile Plume to actually be a thing. I thought Vile Plume was, it said it can't be damaged by basics. I didn't think it just made it so all basics can't attack, period. Interesting. But yeah, I think we'll wrap today's PCO video on the Mew 3 mill deck. We might not have been playing against the most competitive of expanded decks, but we still start off the deck, you know, we, sh we even played against an all psychic deck, which obviously, you know, we're weak to psychic, so it could have been bad. And we got two Boundaries Cross Packs. I could open them up, but I think I'm going to save them for next video. But yeah, that's going to be for the Mew 3 mill deck. We did change the deck up kind of midway through the video, but uh, those Lieutenant Surges, I definitely think were a good remove from the deck. And yeah, the deck worked out pretty well. This Muck actually was a pretty cool card to have, so I don't regret it. The only thing I think I would take out is probably just this and the Lance and the Salamence. They, we didn't use them once, so we could probably remove them for more stuff. But yeah, I think that'll wrap today's future video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe down below to have the road to reaching. 6,000 subs slash 5,700 subscribers. That'll be it for the Mew 3 mill deck today. If you guys have any other ideas to change this deck, let me know. And I'll see you guys later. Follow me on Twitter down below. Make sure to check out the sponsor program at TCG. Also, use my discount code CODELF. See you guys later. Bye-bye.